What's up guys, it's Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and in this video series we're going to help change our RC life by going over all of the different features and functions of the all new Spectrum NX series transmitters. As with all of our videos, everything that you see in the video is available in the links in the description. Uh, those are affiliate links and when you use those it pays a small commission back to the channel and we really appreciate your support. If you like the videos that we're putting out here on the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss another video. Now let's get to today's tutorial. All right, to get into the servo setup we'll simply click the scroll wheel by pressing down uh, and that will open up our function list and it's the first option on the function list uh, outside of the main screen. So we'll just scroll down by clicking the uh, scroll wheel, one click to the right, click the scroll wheel, and that'll bring us into our servo setup menu. And now at the top, you'll see where it has travel, uh, and this is the screen where we can adjust the travel of our servos. Now, if we scroll over to uh, the right, uh, that will highlight travel, and from there, uh, you could click the scroll wheel, and that'll take us through all the different menu options that are in the servo setup uh, menu option, right? So uh, if we click on that, we'll see that we can change it from travel to sub trim, reverse, speed, absolute travel, and balance. And we'll cover each one of those. So we're gonna go back to the travel menu, click the scroll wheel. Uh, it's gonna be highlighted in this case in orange and that will allow us to go to each of the individual channels and adjust those. Now what we're adjusting here is the endpoints uh, for the sticks, right? So as I move the stick to the left or to the right, it's only gonna move the servo, uh, you know, that, that amount, right? So uh, when they're both highlighted like this, you can see that we've got 100 and 100 highlighted. Uh, when we click that scroll wheel, uh, you'll see the background change from orange to black and as we adjust using the scroll wheel uh, you'll see that both of those values change together so we're changing the endpoint of that servo uh, so when I have the stick you know say all the way to uh, you know 100 or I have it pushed or deflected all the way to the left the servo will go to 100 and as we adjust that up or down the servo will move uh, more depending on where you have your endpoint set. Now say we wanted to adjust those independently and you may have just kind of caught that. Uh, to adjust say just your left deflection what we do is we move the servo or we move the the control stick in this case for the aileron channel uh, we would move that control stick to the left and you'll see that only one of those numbers is now highlighted, right? So only the top number. So if we adjust the scroll wheel now, you'll see that we're only adjusting that one value instead of adjusting both at the same time. We recenter that stick and both highlight again so they'll both adjust together. We move the stick to the right and we're only going to be adjusting that bottom value, right? So that's how you adjust them independently. And again, this is adjusting the endpoints uh, to get to the next uh, set. Or if we want to go to a different channel, we just click that scroll wheel to lock those values in. And we can move to any channel that we want and adjust what those endpoints are going to look like. So let's get out of the travel menu here. And we're going to go over to our next, which is going to be sub trim. Now sub trim, uh, rather than setting our endpoints, that's going to be making fine adjustments to the center position of your servo, uh, but still allow for the full amount of travel that we have in the travel menu, uh, provided you don't go out of range, right? So say we have our, our ailerons that we want to adjust. We'll just take the scroll wheel, move it down to the ailerons, and we can click on that and adjust that value. Right, so right now we're going to the left. You'll see that little LF pop up. So we're to the left by 18, 19, 20, uh, and we can go back. Uh, and as we cycle through zero and into the other direction, we'll see that we're now applying right uh, sub trim. And, and what that is again is just very fine adjustments uh, to adjust your control surfaces. I like to use sub trim in the event that I can't. 
mechanically center, uh, say, my rudder, elevator, ailerons. If I can't get it mechanically where I want it, I'll use subtrim to fine tune it. We'll go ahead and move over to uh, reverse, and this is simply just reversing the servos. Now, what I like is on the NX series of radios, we've got a little channel monitor down here. Uh, so say we are moving our ailerons around, we can see that the channel monitor is moving in accordance to you know the stick position. And if we reverse the ailerons, we can actually look at that channel monitor and see that change, right? So right now to the right, we're getting a positive value. And if we reverse that channel, we're now getting a negative value as we remove the ailerons. So you can get an immediate look at how the servo is affected in the channel monitor as soon as you make the change, which is very nice. All right, next we're gonna look at our speed menu. Now this allows us to change the speed of the servo. Normal is gonna be basically the top speed of that servo, uh, and then we can go through and change it. So if we go over to like the gear channel, for example, and we click on normal, now this will be, say, gear up, uh, instead of, you know, and, and the timing is in seconds. So normal uh, speed, you know, will we'll actuate that, that servo, gear up. you know, gear instantly. Down. If we tell it to have a little bit of delay there so it does it in 0.1 second, you know, gear there's going to be a little bit of a delay. Now, if we exaggerate that, and we take it out to one second, Gear up. we'll see it takes one second for that channel monitor Gear to move down. up, but to move down, it's still instant. So we would need to change both of those values, both the up and down speed to Gear change up. that, right? So Gear that down. allows us to fine tune the speeds that the transmitter is going to send and operate that servo, right? So we're gonna put those back to normal and move over to our next menu item. And that's going to be absolute travel. Now, absolute travel, unlike our uh, endpoint adjustment, the absolute travel is a little bit different where it's going to define how far that servo can move, period. Say we have ailerons and we adjust our absolute travel. You'll see here that both of those are moving together. One would be our far left and 4096 would be our far right. Uh, it used to be that these were millisecond values. They may still be, but just understand that we're looking at the full resolution of the servo in what is effectively 4,096 steps. The same with our previous uh, look at the uh, travel side where we were kind of setting those endpoints. If we want to do you know, just our upper value or our lower value, we can move that stick where these aren't moving together, right? So if we want you know, the upper value to be maximized and the lower value to be at one, uh, we can still go through and change that. But by default, when you have it centered, it's gonna lock those values together and they both adjust at the same time. All right, and the reason that you'd wanna adjust this is if you have a servo that's binding up or something, like say you have a, you know, an aileron servo and you, when you deflect it, you know, all the way to the right or all the way to the left, you can hear that servo kind of binding up. Uh, what we can do is limit the absolute travel of the servo where it's not going to try to overextend itself uh, and, you know, stop that servo. Rather than using our travel, we would keep the travel at 100%, uh, but we're limiting how far the servo could actually move here. Uh, we may still call that range 100% of its, you know, available movement that's uh, available to us, but the absolute travel is, is a little bit different in that regard. So let's go to our last one, which is going to be our balance. Now the balance is going to be good for, say, we're running multiple aileron servos, multiple flap servos, 
uh, whatever the case may be. Now, if we have two different makes or models of servos, you know, as we're moving them, we may have one servo that moves this much, one that only moves, you know, half of that value. What the balance menu can do is it can allow us to basically set up a, a movement curve where we can match the, uh, the throw of those servos that are working together where you don't have one servo that's overloading another because they're not quite in sync. It allows us to change uh, you know, the values at specific points. Uh, so what we'll do is, you know, again, I like using the aileron channel because it's, it's very easy to demonstrate how this works. Now this, it, this is you know, reversed, so it, as I move to the right, the, the little pip on the screen moves to the left. But what we want to do is for each one of these points, now once we've selected aileron, we would click our scroll wheel and we can start adjusting each one of these points, right? We've got seven different points uh, that we can adjust. So we've got a center point, uh, and if we want to adjust that, uh, we can just click the menu and we can start adjusting that up or down. Right, so here, uh, you know, what you would find is that that servo, as we adjust it, we would start adjusting what the center position is for the servo. So we may want that here, you know, and then at this value. So as we move that stick, you can see the stick position cursor kind of moving with the stick movement. You know, so at this value, we may want that to be a little different. Right, so we would click and go here. Uh, we may want that value, you know, dropped a little bit. And, and we can just build a little curve here to adjust the balance of that servo through the range of stick movement. But it really allows us to fine tune those servos and be able to sync up the movement of two mismatched servos. Now, one of the other functions here is say we have a custom curve that we've been working on and it's just all out of whack and we need to change it up. An easy way to kind of reset everything rather than going through each one of these values and bringing them back to zero, uh, you can just go down here, scroll all the way to the right, it'll go to clear all there at the bottom. We can hit that and it'll bring all of our points back to zero for us. All right, and that is all of the features that you're gonna find in your servo setup menu. All right guys, that's it for today's tutorial on the NX series transmitters. Uh, again, if you're looking to buy an NX series transmitter, please check our links in the description. Those are affiliate links that pay a small commission back to the channel and we absolutely appreciate your support. And as always, for all the other things that you need to change your RC life, you can always go to rcairmarshall.com where you'll find affiliate links to all of our affiliate partners. If you have any questions on today's video, be sure to leave those down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I get a chance. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on those notifications, Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.